The pituitary gland is situated within the cella tersica and is protected by the diaphragma cellae. It is closely associated with the sphenoidal air sinuses below, the optic chiasma above, and the cavernous sinuses on the sides. The gland consists of two lobes, the anterior lobe, also called adenohypophysis and the posterior lobe, also called neurohypophysis. The connection between the pituitary gland and the hypothalamus is established through the infundibular stalk, which carries blood vessels from the hypothalamus to the anterior lobe and nerve fibers to the posterior lobe. When stained conventionally, the anterior lobe reveals three types of cells, acidophils, basophils, and chromophobes. Under electron microscopy, it becomes possible to identify five distinct cell types in the anterior pituitary, each secreting a specific hormone. These cell types include somatotrophs that produce growth hormone, GH, lactotrophs that secrete prolactin, PRL, thyrotrophs responsible for thyroid-stimulating hormone, TSH, secretion, gonadotrophs that produce follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and luteinizing hormone, LH, and corticotrophs that secrete adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH, functions of pituitary hormones. Thyroid-stimulating hormone, TSH, it stimulates the production of thyroxine, T4, and triiodothyronine, T3, which are important hormones for regulating metabolism. Luteinizing hormone, LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH. In males, both FSH and LH are essential for spermatogenesis. FSH stimulates Sertoli cells to secrete androgen-binding protein, ABP, transferrin, plasminogen activator, and inhibin. LH stimulates Leydig cells to produce testosterone. In females, FSH promotes the growth and development of ovarian follicles during the follicular phase of the menstrual cycle. The mid-cycle peak of LH, LH surge, induces ovulation. Both FSH and LH are necessary for the development of the corpus luteum during the luteal phase of the menstrual cycle. Growth hormone, GH, it promotes overall body growth and development. Prolactin, PRL, its main effects are observed in the breasts, where it stimulates lactation. Adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH, it controls the release of cortisol from the adrenal cortex and also plays a role in skin pigmentation. Posterior pituitary hormones include Arginine vasopressin, AVP, it promotes water reabsorption by the renal tubules, helping to maintain water balance in the body. Oxytocin, it stimulates uterine contractions during childbirth and facilitates the expression of milk from the breasts during breastfeeding. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.